In this video, we are going to show how to share and assign a Padlet for students. So first, we're going to open up one of our Padlets here that is ready to share with students. So we have our Biome KWL chart. And then in the upper right corner, there is the share button. So once we click on this, it will bring up our share options. We'll want to make sure that we have the privacy set correctly for our students so that they can interact with the Padlet. The default settings for secret and can write are the ones that are going to work the best for our students. If it is set to private, that is private to us only as the creator, you can use the password option as long as you give the password to your students. Secret will mean that your students will be able to access it with the link. Public means it is fully public, so anyone with the link or if they search for your Padlet, they would be able to find it. Now the visitor permissions, um, if you set it to can read, that would mean you would want to add things to your Padlet. You would set it up as a resource hub and you wouldn't want students to be able to add their own posts or edit it. Can write means that students are able to click on that plus sign and add po their own posts. If you want students to be able to edit each other's posts, then you would change it to edit. So the most common is can write and secret. Now to share it, you can share via a link. So you can copy the link and then you can add that to any assignment. You can add it to a Google Doc. You can also use a QR code if you want students to be able to scan that using their devices. So you can share a QR code or the link. You can embed the Padlet on your website and you can also share it directly to Google Classroom. So we're going to use that option. So once you click that, it will have you choose your Google Classroom and then choose how you want to post it. So we're going to create an assignment and then uh, click go and it will bring up the assignment options with the link directly to your Padlet embedded in that assignment. So you'll want to add in some directions. We've got our students clicking on the link to open the Padlet, reminding them to click on the pink plus sign and then to come back to Google Classroom and mark the assignment as done. So just finish um, adding any details to your assignment that you would like, then you can assign it or schedule it. And then in Google Classroom, this is what it will look like for your students. And they'll be able to click on that and open it up automatically and have access right away. So that is how you can uh, share a Padlet to your students by clicking on the share button in the upper right corner. You can also copy the link straight from the main page here and uh, paste that into an assignment or share it directly with your students. So click that share button, make sure your privacy settings are correct. Uh, the default secret and can write is going to work for all of your students and then you can share directly with them.